Hello friends, welcome back to Digitalk. And in, the, in this session, I am going to show you how you can backup and recover your uh, WebLogic server in case your LDAP file got corrupted. Also, how you can export and import the complete embedded LDAP server data from one WebLogic domain to other WebLogic domain. Okay, now in the first case where I am saying that uh, how you can recover your WebLogic server in case your LDAP server uh, data got corrupted. Okay, so what exactly is LDAP server is that which store your current, your, all of your username, and password rules and groups and then security related information right so uh, weblogic has own embedded ldap server right so does it mean it, it mean that uh, uh, it store all the username password policies and everything locally in the weblogic server embedded ldap server unless you are going to configure it with the external ldap server for example microsoft ad from oracle it is oid oracle internet directory and there are multiple external oid or you can say ldap servers are there okay so either you have an option you can configure it with the external ldap servers right uh, but most of the places you will see that it is not configured with the external external um, ldap servers so that means all of the users that you are using to log into your weblogic console either it is admin user or some deployer monitoring or some other users right those all the users along with their uh, other security informations credentials everything is stored in the default ldap servers of the weblogic okay so sometime it is happened that it, your, if your ldap servers ldap server files get corrupted then server will not start okay and mostly this has happened when sometimes uh, uh, if your uh, the storage size got full on the server where your weblogic server is running at that time such uh, incidences can arise where your ldap server will get corrupted okay and the second case which is the export and import that means if you have a weblogic domain is there and you have multiple users are there and if you have created another domain okay and you want all of your users those are in the uh, uh, the first domain to be in the second domain as well so instead of creating all the users and then all the secure data manually you can just export all of the uh, uh, users data from one domain and then you can import in the second domain so these are the two use cases right and again to show you for that i am going to follow this uh, uh, the lab document from the digit block okay and this contain all the information with the step by step informations explanations along with the screenshot okay so when you are using all this lab document you don't need to go anywhere even you are a beginner or a fresher just going through this documentation you can do every configurations by your own okay so along with that you have a handbook which will give you a complete theoretically knowledge as well along with the practical knowledge because that handbook is designed specifically for the professionals either experienced persons or the beginners okay so if you need all those lab documents and or and uh, weblogic handbook that you can write us on digitalk.fmw.gmail.com we will send you the complete details how you can purchase that one which is available on the bare minimum cost okay so let me show you first i will uh, uh, show you how you can uh, take the backup of ldap server files which you can configure from the weblogic console and second then how you can export and import the configurations okay so this is a bit explanation about the ldap how this uh, what is the uh, use of ldap and how when where it is stored the data when you take the backup or uh, when you restore the backup okay from here we have to select the file this all information is mentioned here right initially and then let us talk about first of the backup of ldap repository how you can take the backup of your ldap repository okay so it's very straightforward uh, for that you have to go to your weblogic console log into your weblogic console click on your domain name and once you will click on your domain name then you have to go to the security tab inside you have to click on your embedded ldap okay so these are the configurations that is related with the embedded ldap server right and now if you wanted to take the backup of your embedded <coughs> ldap data right so for that you have to specify the this particular parameters our minute and the backup copies how many copies you want to retain after that it will uh, again uh, it will uh, try it will override the older files that means if it is seven that means it will uh keep the seven copies of your backup previous seven copies of backup right and it will take the backup at 23 and 5 23 5 okay so let me show you where exactly it is stored that uh, this data it is show the data in the because this is completely related with the admin server so you have to go inside the root directory of your admin server which is the inside your servers folder in domain and then admin server right then data and then ldap okay and there you will see a folder with the name of backup 
okay inside your data and ldap folder so inside the backup folder it will take the backup of your ldap files when you are going to enable this option okay so let me show you so right now it is 14 10 so let me enable it for 14 and then for 12 okay and let me save it okay so let us see that if it, it need a restart or not okay right so you have to restart the one item right for this one so let me because my admin server is running only there so let me restart my admin server okay so i have specified the time as 14 10 okay so that means after one minute it is going to take the backup of uh, the embedded files and is going to store in this ldap backup directory which is blank as of now right so let me see okay now my server is running okay and let me go back and log in again to my login console okay and right so let me show you if the configuration is there or not which we have done okay let me go to my domain and then security and then embedded ldap right so this is the configuration we have done take the backup at 14 12 that means on each and every day at 14 12 it will take the backup of complete ldap directories and it will store inside the backup directory which i am going to show you which we have enabled right and the second option now how to restore that one if suppose that you want to restore that one you just need to do is you have to extract this file okay and then you have to restore the from this backup file from this particular zip file okay so it's going to take the backup of these particular files from your domain okay it will so to restore if you have this zip file is created okay and you are going to restore that then you have to extract this particular zip file inside that you will find all these files take all these files and then copy inside your data and then ldap folder okay and inside that you have a ldap files folder let me go back and show you okay so now you can see that this backup file has been taken at the 14 12 which we have configured that means the auto backup has been taken and this is the ldap file directory where you will file all this file which has been taken the backup these are the files which is inside your data ldap and ldap files so right so if you want to restore all these ldap files in case your uh, it is get corrupted okay so what you need to do is just go inside your uh, ldap and you can take the backup of this particular folder okay and then copy all these files from the zip file inside this particular directory which is completely mentioned here in detail right and after that you have to restart your admin server so your ldap data will be restored from this particular file so this is the first option how you can backup and restore the ldap data right and now second is how you can export and import from one domain to another domain right as i said so for that one body what you need to do is you have to export the data and when you are going to import for you have to select the import option let me show you where exactly it is so for that you have to go to security realms click on the security realms and then migration why because you are going to migrate the ldap data okay so you have two options there export and import so export is when you are exporting the security data from this particular domain and in the second domain where you have to import the data there you have to specify the import option so what i am going to do is i will show you everything here so to take the export what i will do is let me uh, create one directory inside the c and i will give it name as export ldap and data okay the spelling is not wrong let me correct it right so this is the folder where i am going to take the export of the data so let me take it and specify here okay so now i am inside the export folder i have given the directory for the export directory and then let us save it okay so based on the data that you have in your security realm how many users you have how many uh, security configurations that you have done for a particular domain it will take some time to take the backup of your data okay and so once all the data backup has been taken okay now we are inside this folder it was blank we have created this folder some time back now you can see that the data is getting copied here that means it is taking the complete backup right so you can see that settings updated successfully okay and this is the screen which show the execution that we are doing in this particular lab document okay so now we have the complete backup of the security realm right all the users whatever we have there and now we can export that one but before export let me show you one thing so here we have uh, three 
uh, users as of now so what i will do is quickly i will uh, create two users and then i will take the export i will delete this users and then i will again import to show you that users are getting restored or not okay so okay so i have just the password logic one i can specify anything web logic one two three and then web logic one two three right so this is the first user that i have created and then let me create one more user with the name of monitoring okay and then let me specify the password it is web logic one two three and web logic one two three and why i am creating this user is that because i am going to show you the demo in the same domain so what i am doing i am creating two users with the name of web uh, deployer and monitoring that we have created right after that i am going to take the backup okay so i will take the backup inside the same directory so let me first delete all these files and let me take the backup inside this particular folder again okay so now what will happen that it will take the complete backup of security realms data so that means we have created two users with the name of uh, monitoring and deployer so those users also will be taken in the backup right so now it has taken the backup right this is the current backup so now what i am going to do is i will delete the user deployer and monitoring from this particular security realm right so now you can see that users are deleted from it right so now let me do is let me export all the data and see the data that the, the users are getting restored or not okay so just on demo purpose i am showing you in the same domain okay and then same process you have to follow so once you have taken the export you can copy the content of the export directory to your uh, target directory where you have to import and then you can specify the directory here so let me click on the import and what i need to do in import is i have to specify the same directory that we have exported and let me click on save okay so again it depends on the data that you have in your security realm it will take some time so you can see here that the backup has been imported right and it is successfully now go to your users and group and see that your deployer and the monitoring users are restored okay so it will not impact other users right because we have a multiple users in the in the target domain as well right and on top of that we are going to import the complete data from the source domain so if you have a certain same set of users in the target uh, domain it will uh, escape all of those and whatever the new data it will found from the source domain it will import all the data in your domain and this is the feature of how you can export and import the security realm data which is users group etc from one domain to another domain okay and all these instructions has been given with the complete clarity and the screenshot with and with the explanations in this particular lab documents okay thanks for watching this video and stay tuned for the next video